Concussions are becoming a bigger and bigger concern when it comes to the NFL. Witness last month's congressional hearing for which both Commissioner Roger Goodell and Players Union head DeMaurice Smith were summoned to Capitol Hill to testify. Players themselves are reluctant to reveal head injuries, many of them afraid of losing their spot on the roster, others avoiding any sign of weakness in a culture where gladiator and warrior are compliments of the highest order. The Associated Press interviewed 160 NFL players, and 30 respondents said they had hidden or played down the effects of a concussion. Getting eaten in the head and, you know, kind of getting up and, you know, and seeing stars, I mean, uh, you know, you just go back to the huddle and you hope it wears off and you go and play the next play. But sometimes it's near impossible to hide. One thing about concussions, you can be, um, you can be awakened up, but you're really consciously not there. Like, if that makes sense. Like, you'll be up walking around, you might be talking, but you might be kind of talking crazy. And how long before that goes away? It could be the, the next minute, or it could be, in my instance, it was, it was like 45 minutes. Are newly engineered helmets the answer? Helmets are, you know, they're getting better, but, you know, I mean, you know, it's still, it's still a rough sport. And how does the NFL grade out in its stepped-up effort to make things safer? They're taking some really great some great steps to, to making it that way. It's still a rough game, um, but that's, that's what this game's about. It's a contact sport. Jim Bell, The Associated Press.